Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and happy weekend. I don't always do videos on the weekend, but I have a pretty massive restock in the shop. Uh, things from me, uh, not too many from me, but um, several things from Joanne and from Sasha. So we've just kind of stocked up our shop this weekend, especially Sasha and Joanne. So I thought I would just quickly show you the stuff that's in the shop, maybe give you a few ideas of inspiration. You know, maybe you see something here and it sparks your interest and you remember you already have something similar in your stash and you want to pull it out and craft with it. These videos are meant for inspiration as well as for um, directing you to the shop. So I don't even know where to get started. I have a huge pile of stuff here. Um, okay, well, let's just jump right into it. So I do have a pile of used children's books. They're vintage. I'm going to go very quickly through them. Um, these are mine, so they'll be in Lindsay's supplies, but I have a little old Mother Goose. These are all craft condition, so they're old. Um, a little, I have a turtle. Um, this one I'm probably going to actually end up putting in a D-stash box because it's so old and falling apart. So I'll set that apart. Tale of Jeremy Fisher, Tale of Benjamin Bunny, Tale of the Flopsy Bunnies. These are uh, like little Beatrix Potter stories and they'll be so sweet for a journal. Some of them are illustrated by Potter and some of them I think are illustrated by a different illustrator. Not sure who illustrated this one, but this is retold from an original Potter um, and Flopsy Bunnies and Squirrel Nutkin. So they're really cute for woodland journals, children's journals, things like that. I have Mickey Mouse and the Pet Show. Um, some vintage Bible books, Baby in the Basket. This is like a first grade reader from the 1960s. So about Moses, uh, farm animals. I hope I'm in frame. I'm just flipping through these books like I know what I'm doing. So really cute farm animals book. Uh, we have Jack and the Beanstalk. So these, like I said, they're, they're craft condition. Some of them may have writing. Some of them may have tears or a missing page or um, coming out of the cover. Some of them might be in better condition, but they're meant to take apart and create with. Like think of them as paper pads. Uh, Night Before Christmas, I've sold a few of these. This is a little golden book, The Night Before Christmas. So if you're gonna be doing Christmas crafting, this is a sweet book. The Saggy Baggy Elephant, um, cute children's story, Bugs Bunny Pioneer, uh, Little Golden Book, Funny Bunny. This is super cute. This is in 1950. Look at those illustrations. They're so cute. Um, Donald Duck and the One Bear. The Little Mailman of Bayberry Lane. This is very old. 1952. Um, I just think these illustrations are so cute. So little, little vintage. Look at it. He's a little male, a little male squirrel or chipmunk or whatever he is. So cute. He's a chipmunk. Um, my little book of manners. This is 1963. Look at the, let's be kind to everyone. Let's watch those sniffles. That would be really cute for um, journals right now. Let's watch our table manners. Let's be neat. Let's be obedient. Let's be gentle. It's a little book of manners from the 60s. Morning noises from the 60s as well. The really cute colors. The wonder book of trucks from the 50s. So this would be great for a little boys journal or a transportation journal. I am a lamb. And then this is a religious book. Um, so that would be really sweet for like a prayer journal or something like that. The Land of Diddly Dot and Other Stories. I think this is a Christian uh, reader as well. Um, see, Tip Top Tales. This, I think these are little Christian tales too, I think. Anyway, it's vintage illustrations. And then the Ele Rudyard Kipling's The Elephant's Child from, I don't know what year that is, 1955, something like that. So I'm going to put these in a uh, little lot like I normally do, put them in my supply section. Just wanted to show you those that just came in from eBay. And the only other things I have, I have three little things, so I'll just share mine first so they don't get 
lost in the sauce here. Um, these are little snippets. I just made a little pouch out of some wallpaper. I backed it with, here with some lemon card stock. So of course this pouch is reusable. It could be cute as a library card pouch. But these little snippets are made from papers and book pages and wallpaper. And then these really cute um, circles from Digital Collage Club and they're all sweets. So they're like cakes and cupcakes and things like that. So there's a whole set of them sweet and tasty, all that sort of thing. So sweet and tasty snippets in a little bag. And then um, I had so much fun with these. There's three of them in this set. They're Marie Antoinette dangles. And these are also from Digital Collage Club. They were circle, uh, circle images and I punched it a heart. And then I punched just some like packaging uh, but it's three layers. So we have two layers of packaging and then the cardstock on top of that all glued together to make a pretty hefty charm. I've inked it all up, put in an eyelet, a bulb pin, a little bit of um, seam binding, a little bit of lace and two beads. So these would clip onto your journal or tassel or whatever. And there's three of them. They're all Marie Antoinette, but they're all different, slightly different um, styles, her face and hair and everything. Her clothes are they're a little bit different so there's a set of three of those and then I have a wallpaper pouch here that is uh, has gypsy journal cards boho journal cards in it so this is a torn wallpaper stitched pouch of course you can use that to store ephemera I have a sorry silk ruffle and then this is like a um, piece of junk jewelry I think it's vintage it was an earring but I turned it I clipped it on this bulb pin and then that's clipped on through the wallpaper and then I've used images from Mrs. Cogs and they're all like boho gypsy themed they're all messy stitched with my sewing machine they're inked and then backed with some of them are like family tree card stock um and then got some different different kinds of backings on them ready to go into your boho journal but several different journal cards so that's all I have it's not a lot um but I just thought I'd throw it in here anyway okay so I'm gonna kind of I may go back and forth between Sasha and Joanne but I'll just get started so Sasha sent this pouch this is a big pouch it's stitched it's I think it's wallpaper or faux leather or faux something some kind of faux <laughs> faux something it's pretty and it's I think it's hand stitched um, on the sides here this is really long and she has okay it's called ocean ephemera pouch 28 piece pieces wallpaper pouch eight fussy cut images one faux made faux handmade paper one envelope six tags 12 journal cards pull that off so we can get in here so this just holds this ocean ephemera lots of hand stitching I know you guys love her hand stitching so this is one of the faux handmade papers it's a paper and then uh, you put a whole bunch of like bits and pieces on it and seal it so these make incredible tags I've done stuff like this and made tags out of it so much fun and then oh she has used a sewing machine on some and she's hand stitched others so here's a sewing machine little envelope here's some tags um, some of them are hand stitched. I love the graph paper on the back, makes great for journaling, really neat. And then some of them are sewing machine. Looks like we have some, oh, I love what she did. I don't know how she did this, if she used a die cutting machine. Oh no, no, they're just fussy cut. I thought, so we have fussy cut ocean sharks and fish and things like that. So if you're planning an ocean journal, and then we have some giant journal cards. These are all, not all hand stitched. Some of them are hand stitched. Some are machine stitched. So it's a really nice variety. Her hand stitching is beautiful. They're all backed with that graph paper. So lots of items to use in an ocean type journal. And then this is just a pouch. It kind of keeps it all together and you could reuse that. You can even cut this down to make two smaller pouches. You could um, cut the ends open and use it to cover a journal. So many things you can do with it. Um, I need to set her stuff aside. All right, next she has some poetry embellishments, set of 10 that you can tuck 
into journals. So this is just an envelope to hold them. Uh, but here you go. How beautiful. So she's actually used like from a book, different poetry poems, and then backed them on some really nice textured specialty paper with some little um, like rhinestones. So these are so beautiful. I think these would be really pretty as pockets or on the front of journals, like, like to a water lily. This one, she's even done little tiny hands stitching around. Oh my goodness, the waterfall bouquet. So nice moments of childhood. That These are the type of things I'd love to use on covers of journals. So I know you guys are going to really enjoy that. Pardon me while I take time to put these where they belong in between so I don't lose anything. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of Joanne's um, Trees of North America. Oh, I love the Golden Field Guides. This one is a 1980s, 1986. Um, I think initially the illustrations are from the 60s and then it was reprinted in the 80s. But look at all these pages. You get well over 200, almost 300 pages, lots of illustrations. So uh, yeah, that's from Joanne. So that's in Joanne Supplies. I uh, see 50 bird fussy cuts. This is from Sasha. All right. This is just an envelope, but there's bird 50 of them. Got all these different... Um, birds that are cut out and ready to go in your journals. Get the toucan. I love the toucan. So these are great for collaging. They're already ready to go. Got a whole envelope full of them. And I'm kind of going back and forth between Joanne and Sasha so that you, if you don't have time to watch the whole video, you're still kind of seeing both of theirs because if I went through all of one and then all of the other, somebody would be at the end of the video. So I'm just trying to keep it back and forth a little bit. So let's pull one of Joanne's. Here we have a little pouch. I love her layering. There's lace, music paper, and then this says postcard. So it's a little pouch. You can keep things in it. You can put it in a journal. So we got journal cards and tags in here that are collaged up so pretty. I love Joanne's collaging. I use her stuff frequently. Little tag there, another tag. So pretty, little tuck spot some pink lace on that one. So pretty. Look at all these. Mayflower. Yes. So all sorts of, I use these in my journals frequently. They're amazing. So that's from Joanne. I'll stick that over in her pile. My inventory is kind of crazy. All right. So we have some fabric flips, two sets of 12. Okay. So we'll just open up one, I think, but these are from, oh, Sasha, okay, so these are, well, I will figure this out. What is she, she glued it? Okay, so they're just, these are the little fabric flips and they are just glued a little bit up at the top. So what you can do is just put a line of glue here, stick it in your journal, or you can take your sewing machine and use any stitch you want across the top but they're just glued, but there's, I think, 12 of them in each one. They're beautiful. Look at these. Look at how pretty they are. So all of these flips ready to go. A nice variety. And there's two sets. So you can also use them just to trim off little bits and pieces. You don't have to use them as a flip and just kind of keep a little fabric stash next to you for crafting two of those. All right. So let's go back to Joanne here. Um, okay. So we have little glassine bags and she has a little, I think she has a couple sets. We'll look at one. These are little torn embellishments. So they're little like journal cards that have been torn and inked. They make great for layering. Oh, they're so pretty. Gorgeous little images. They're all printed, torn, inked. It takes a lot of time to do that. And her tearing is so beautiful. And here's even a little like um, snippet stitched piece there. And she has a couple sets of these. So you can either get a couple sets or a couple of you can get a set. But she has like three that are like that. Love it. Oh, all right, I'm back. Um, I have a set of dangles, actually a couple sets of dangles from Sasha. These are miscellaneous dangles and they are on little safety pins. 
This makes it great because you can really clip them, pin them on anything, on sides of pages, front of page, front tassels. These are just random beads. They're really pretty. I love that one. These are so pretty. So there's 12 dangles in this one. You can see more, you know, close-up pictures and stuff over on the website. All of Sasha's stuff is in Sasha's Creations and Finds over on my website. And then these are purple dangles. And there's a set of 12. Um, are they all purple? Yeah. Or they coordinate with it. So they're on safety pins as well. Makes it really easy to clip on. I'm not going to pull them all out. You can see the picture, but they're really, really pretty. So both of those are from Sasha. Okay, we're going to look at some trim from Joanne next. Nine yards of trim. So three yards of each kind. We have different eyelash type trims. These are incredible for layering and for tassels. So we have a pretty colors. Uh, I think I don't, she has two bags. I'm assuming they're the same ones in each, but I'm going to just take a peek just in case they're different. They're the same. So two of the same of those eyelash trims. And then she, Joanne also has four sets of glassine bags. There's six of the three and a half by five and six of the four by six, four sets of those. So get your glassine bags. What is this? Oh, more of that eyelash trim. There's actually three sets of eyelash trim. Back to Sasha, <laughs> 50 butterfly fussy cuts. So here is, I mean, it's a beautiful little butterfly envelope. And then 50 butterflies all fussy cut out. So many, look at how pretty they are. You can use them in your journals and in your collaging card making whatever happy mail I mean if you have 50 of them you can send you know some little happy mail envelopes so it would only take a stamp and it's just a great thing to add to happy mail so that's from Sasha um fabric button snippets these are also from Sasha she has two sets of them and there are 10 sets each so they're just um layered up snippets and they have these really pretty buttons <laughs> These are really pretty on a cover. They're really pretty at the top of a page. Stick them on an envelope, stick them on a bag, stick them on the front of a card. I mean, they're just gorgeous. So there's two, two sets. If we get a random set, but just giving you an idea of what they are. Get those right down here. Okay, so more stuff from Joanne. What do we have here? Double pockets. Okay. These are her double pockets. She uses like these photo pockets and there's two pockets and then she stuffs them with handmade ephemera. So look at how sweet these are. I love all of her collaging. Look at the bird. So you get a random double pocket. I'm, I, think, I don't think she's listing them individually, but each one has similar types of ephemera on each side. So pick up a couple sets. They're also great for storing additional ephemera. You really can't go wrong with that. You go set that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm tripping over stuff. So set that aside. All right. I have a journal here from Sasha. It's a bird journal. Isn't it pretty? So it's fabric covered and it has one of those fussy cut birds on the front. So that's an idea of something you can do with a fussy cut birds. And then we have lace paper and it says memories. A whole bunch of fun edging, including paper and lace and glass scene. I, I love this fabric. It is a single signature. Oh my, it's hand stitched y'all, look. Oh, if you can see around the edge, this is all hand stitched. Look at that. This is like a, some kind of a faux leather or something. 72 pages of pull. Oh, it is a cardstock. Okay, it just feels like a specialty cardstock. So it is bird themed. So pretty. Oh, look at the feathers and the coffee dyed paper. The little lace. Of course, you all know how much I love birds. Look at the swans. 
Got lace pocket. Oh, she's even done some hand stitching on the um, paper ribbons. Doily with, a, so these are ideas to use the fussy cut, um, the fussy cut collections you purchase in our shop. You can use them to decorate pages. See how she's glued them on in different places. This is a very beautiful journal and I know someone's gonna love it. What a gorgeous journal, Sasha. All right, we'll set that aside in her collection. All right, so Joanne sent a journal too. This is a garden journal. If you have watched her channel anytime recently, her channel is called Drunk Journal Treasures. She showed this cover. Um, I sent it to her as part of her birthday gift, the cover. It's a gardening cover. And so she turned it into something beautiful. I knew she would. I like it's more of a traveler's notebook type size. And so that's what she turned it into as a cover to hold a traveler's notebook insert. And she put a gardening image on the front. And then the elastic here, It's it says a, mis a miscellany of garden wisdom was the name of the book. She has wrapped and tied on eyelash trim over that. There's eyelets. And then with, okay, so TN cover, traveler's notebook cover with removable journal can replace with another journal. 56 pages of journal central pocket has 20 pieces of ephemera. So we have fabric here cardstock cover and then it is beautiful look at that little tickets I love her stenciling garden pages I sent her those in her birthday box too I love how she created with them so here's a pocket she just put in the middle and I'm pretty sure this whole thing is sewn together or glued. yeah it's oh okay I think it's stapled is it stapled it, yeah, it's, so it's stapled together and then it is, this is washi tape together in the middle to hide that. And then in here, we have ephemera, little cutouts, pieces, and things that you can use in the journal. Pretty uh, paper clip keeps it closed so you don't lose any of the ephemera. And so you can replace uh, this little journal with a, another traveler's notebook journal in the cover if you wish it's a beautiful cover so that is from joanne set that in here um so, so sasha sent a bird ephemera album okay we'll take a look and see what that is 80 plus pieces fussy cuts tags journal cards corner tucks all sorts of things so okay what a great idea this was a photo album that she turned, wow, oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> so she covered it with fabric, added a little bird and some, whatever those are called, flatbacks. And then in here, she has, you have fussy cut birds, you have tags, these are hand sewn around the edges and backed with that graph paper. You have journal cards, a whole ton of bird journal cards. Here you have like corner tuck spots and stuff. Oh, wow. You have a blank one, so you can fill it up. You have eyelash trim and flat backs. You have um, little flip outs, little booklets. You have a ribbon and then little dictionary cards. And then you have some paper scraps that are really pretty that you can use. So you can keep all your bird stuff together in a little ephemera folder. And if you purchase more bird items and things from our shop or other shops, or you fussy cut things out, you can keep them in here and you'll remember it is bird themed. Tie it all up so that everything stays in there. I think that is a brilliant idea, Sasha. Definitely one I'm gonna keep in mind and keep a lookout for photo albums when I go to thrift stores. All right, that's Sasha's. Uh, Joanne also um, printed out some of her new kits and I wanted to kind of flip through them and show you what, not kits, they're paper packs. This is um, hydrangea and butterflies and we're using it for the June challenge. So make sure you buy it printed or digitally if you are doing the June marketplace challenge. But I just wanted to show you some of these pages printed out, how beautiful they are. It has a little bit of a Paris theme in that one there. Butterflies, script, hydrangea. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. So she has, um, I think, four, four sets of that printed on presentation paper. And then this is her Celtic Rose. And this also is being used in the June challenge. So a lot of the 
Celtic designs in the background and then florals and script and it is beautiful. So we're using this as well. So she has four sets of that. They're gonna go quickly, so make sure you get them. Her prints are not stocked all the time. It's just whatever she has in the shop at the time. And then one set of wallpaper called Forever Floral. This is from Joanne. So beautiful. I love that purple one. So make sure you grab wallpaper when you're... Oh, no, there's another set here. Okay, so Forever Floral. The paper clip came off, so I missed it. And then Blush. Oh, so pretty. This would go really well with the June Challenge, the Wisteria and Butterflies and all um, Hydrangea and all that kind of stuff we're doing. Roses. So those are all Joanne. I'll try to set that to the side. All right, we're going to flip back here to Sasha. This is a Victorian tag pouch. She's used images from Harper's Bazaar books. And then she's just done these tags. Aren't they beautiful? All these Victorian tags. Her Victorian tags that she's done before, they've sold really well. They're beautiful. And there's 16 of them in here. And then this gorgeous pouch that you can keep them in. And of course, reuse the pouch. So only one available. So go grab that. This is from Joanne. It's a little pretty pouch. I haven't looked at what's inside yet. Oh, okay. Looks like it's just a bits and pieces. So you have some pretty lace and little, little classine bags, some collaged circles, collage. These are gorgeous journal cards, some of the torn journal cards and another collaged journal card. So it's just it's just things you can play with. And then a gorgeous pouch, of course. Keep your pouches, reuse them, organize with them, or stick them in journals, use them as happy mail. This is one of Joanne's button dangles, and she put that on there. So you could reuse that on a journal or a tassel if you wished. Move that over here. Let's see. Uh, Sasha sent some more playing cards. They were a big hit last time. Um, she sent, oh, look at how cute. These are picnic themed. So cute. And then more bunny ones and uh, chipmunk or squirrel. I'm sorry, squirrel ones. So bunny, squirrel, and picnic for the playing cards. They were a huge hit. All right. Joanne sent a book. This will be in her supply section. It's called Great Migrations from National Geographic. Not only is this cover super high quality, it's black, and you can turn it into a tabletop type coffee table junk journal but it has these gorgeous now it's in craft condition so like it may be missing a page or two I think but overall there's a ton of pages in here gorgeous images that'll work really well in wildlife journals so pick that up if you're going to be doing any wildlife journals it's heavy it's got a lot of pages too I'm going to go put that with my other books Sasha sent another journal just doing this all haphazardly. So hand stitching again, it says journal, pretty flower. This is a wallpaper cover, um, 52 pages, nine by six. It's wallpaper and card stock. Look at how pretty that uh, dyed paper is with the lines. It's hand stitching, which is, blows my mind how she has the patience for that. So pretty. The stamping's gorgeous. Some Edith Holden, more hand stitching, inking, pockets, cards. So it's just a fun little journal that she's created. Stick that with her stuff. Oh, I already showed that from Joanne. All right, what else do we have? Joanne restock gold pins. Yay, we have black. So you get um, 60, I think. Yeah, so you have black ball pins and she has 15 sets of those. And then bronze and black. So if you want more of a mixture, you have 30 or 30 bronze, 30 black to make 60 total. And there's 15 sets of those. So bulb pins are restocked. Joanne also made this. I think it's a little scroll. I always hate on tying things because I never know if I can tie them up again. <laughs> Let's take a look. So it's like a collaged scroll. 
yeah, it's got book pages, vintage book pages on the back. And then it's all collaged here on the front and stitched together and stamped and inked. Beautiful. So you can cut this into um, tags and collage pieces and you can use them or you can keep it as a scroll and you can journal on the little pieces or you could add photos um, and you can journal on the back or collage on the back and roll it up and keep it like that. But I think it's meant to be like torn and cut apart and used in lots of different journals. And it would look so pretty also just rolled up as a decoration to have a scroll like as part of your decor in your craft room or even in your living room or bathroom or something. It's just totally, totally creative and unique and so, so beautiful. So I can figure out how to wrap this back up. We are getting to the end. There's only a few things left. We've gotten through most of it. Thank you for staying to the end and hopefully you've already gotten a ton of inspiration and some of you are probably already shopping, but we're gonna finish up here. All right, so I'm gonna finish finish up with Joanne. She only has one thing left here. Uh, she has the Damask and Glassine bags um, sets available in her shop. So there's a few things left from Sasha and we'll call it a day. This is a little satchel that's full of different laces and she'll have a picture of that. So I'm not gonna untie that. <laughs> uh, so we have some wallpapers here. This is Neutral Africa. These are from Sasha and they feel like a grass cloth or a burlap. I may end up having to fold these in half to ship them because they're 12 by 11 and they're not gonna fit in my mailers. So depending upon what else you order and if I'm shipping in a mailer or a box, they may be folded in half when you get them, but they're beautiful. And then colorful Africa. So all these grass cloths in color. And then she has a set of gift wrap. And I um, these are like 1980. <laughs> these are like vintage gift wraps, just pieces. That is gorgeous. So if you want wanting to stock up on some gift wrap, there's vintage gift wrap here in different themes and styles. So you get a whole set of that. And button dangles set of five. Okay. So on here, you can see there's little lobster clips. So these are meant to be taken off. There's little clips. Or maybe these aren't lobster clips. I don't know what they're called, but they they their little clips so you can take them off so they're meant to be clipped off and then added to a tassel or something like that look at how pretty that's another one this is just a great way to store them ah, look at how pretty love the colors you can also just clip that and then use all these buttons on your journals because there's so many buttons um Probably I would keep some of them, like some of these, because they're so pretty how she sewed them on and you can see them all. And then the ones that were stacked up super chunky, I would probably cut and use individually. That's just me personally, but those are beautiful. And so you get all of them, like you get this set, so yay. And the last thing is this. I love what she did. I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time shipping this because it's so big, but I'm going to keep a priority mail um box that I think this will fit in because I, I can't fold it or anything but it's an effect actually an ephemera folder and it is train themed locomotive themed look at this is like what you would see out the train like in the old west and look what look when you open it up train ephemera folder hand sewn three tags, four corner tucks, nine journal cards, four envelopes, one flip open, nine fussy cuts, and a book ephemera folder. So look at the hand sewing. Look, I mean, oh my goodness. So if you are doing a train, I can't even pull all these out. If you're doing a train themed journal or a travel journal or little boys journals, there's envelope. Look at all these envelopes. They're hand sewn. Look at how cute. Tuck spots. Look at what she's done. The hand sewing just, oh, it blows my mind. Look at all these little words. All aboard, clang, 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 chug, 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 full steam ahead. All of these wonderful, and look at even the fussy cut train and the fussy cut conductor. 
I'm not even showing you all of them. You're going to have to look at her photos, but I'm blown away. Like, what a great idea. Got pockets here. Two, two tuck spots here. A big pocket here. Love it. So, whew, that was quite the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this will go up Friday. So it should be Friday when it goes up. And then um, I will have another Marketplace video either Saturday or Monday doing more April challenge journals. So I hope that you have enjoyed this. I have, even though I'm not shopping all of this because this is my shop, <laughs> I have gotten so much inspiration just from watching. I've gotten so many ideas from both Joanne and Sasha that I'm going to be implementing in my crafting. So I really appreciate all of you supporting our business and doing everything you can to help us out. And I hope that we continue to inspire you. Consider subscribing if you had not. I'll see you all in the next video.